Good morning, Church. Again, resetting our spiritual compass for this month. I trust that today has been a, a good day for you so far. 28th is another, got three more days left. I encourage you over the next three days to really take time to focus your heart. We want to see God speak clearly. So we're gathering with churches from around the world and, and we're asking for some very specific things. We're asking God to break evil. We're asking God to empower his people and we're asking God for a harvest. So let's just be really clear in our request. Let's be real strong, strong in our request to God. Also, as we do this, I again encourage you, take some time. Don't be afraid to take a little more time over these next three days. And if you need to gather with somebody, I encourage you in this last three days, take some time and gather with God's people or fast and pray. And when God shows you, write them down. Okay, Psalm 28. To you, O Lord, I call my rock. Be not deaf to me. Lest if you be silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my cry, or hear the voice of my pleas for mercy. When I cry to you for help, when I lift up my hands toward your most holy sanctuary, do not drag me off with the wicked, with the workers of evil, who speak peace with their neighbors, but evil is in their hearts. Give to them according to their work and according to the evil of their deeds. Give to them according to the work of their hands and render them their due reward. Because they do not regard the works of the Lord or the work of his hands. He will tear them down and build them up no more. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my pleas for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart exalts, and with my song I give thanks to him. The Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. Oh, save your people, and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd, and carry them forever. Psalm 28 is a prayer for mercy. David is saying, Lord, I'm crying out to you. Don't put me in the same category as the wicked people. People who don't do what you ask them to do. People who lie with their tongues when their heart is not in it. People who speak against you because that's not who we are. That's not who God's people is. That's not who David is. And I trust that's not who you and I are. So what does David say? God, deal with me according to your mercy. Deal with me according to your mercy. In other words, God, my heart wants your forgiveness. My heart wants to follow you. Yeah, there may be times I've struggled, but my heart is for you. The enemies, they don't have that heart. They don't care to have the mercy of God released to them. They just don't care. And so it doesn't happen. God's mercy will not be extended toward them. As he puts it there in that verse, render to them their due reward. Give to them according to the work of their hands. This is what they've done. You honor what they've done and you give the reward. And it's not very good. But then David goes to the second half of this psalm. He says, blessed is the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. Why? Because he's heard my cry for mercy. And he's released his mercy to me. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my shield. I am helped by the Lord. God is good. God is good to his people. And David sings and rejoices. But he doesn't just stop with saying, Lord, be the, pe be the God of, who's taking care of me. He also says, God, be the strength of your people. 
Lord, your people need your strength. The people around us need to know that their strength doesn't come from the king. It doesn't come from the nation. It comes from the Lord. So he's our strength. He's our shield. He's our defender. He's our song. And he shepherds his people. So as we come here today, I'm reminded that when we talk about the Lord's shepherd in Psalm 23, it says he takes care of his sheep. He leads us, he guides us, he protects us, he walks with us. So you hear David is saying, Lord, be the shepherd for the people of your nation. So let's pray. Father, as we come here this morning, our heart's prayer is for your mercy. Lord, that your people will cry out to you for your mercy. Don't lump us together with a world that seeks to depart from you, your word, your ways, and your mercy. Father, hear the, hear the prayer of your people who cry out to you. Father, be our shepherd. Lead us into pastures. Take care of us. In the midst of our enemies, set a table before us. Father, this is a time we want to reach out and we're asking that you make a difference between your people and the world around us, that people will see the difference of what it means to follow you and to be your sheep, you be our shepherd. Father, may the people around us see that difference. And I ask that that would be clear this year among the nation, that they will see the difference between God's people and the world around us. Secondly, Father, David asks for strength. He says, Lord, you strengthen my heart. And then he said, Lord, you strengthen the heart of your people. So today I ask when your people get weary and they, tr get, they struggle, Father, you be their strength. When we're tired and we have things to do and we don't have the strength, Lord, you release your strength to your children. Father, I pray for today as we ask you to meet our needs. Father, may the world see it and may the world choose to ask, I want a God who takes care of his children, who takes care of me. So Father, as we pray your prayer today, we pray it as your sheep. We pray it as your children. We pray it as people who've received mercy from our God. To our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Father, we're your sheep. We're your children. Give us our daily needs. Lord, there's some people, those needs are greater than others. Lord, meet every need today of your children. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>